All right, chat. It's been a little bit. But Binding of Isaac. It's pretty... It's a fun game to come back to. But this time, you know... Whenever I come back to this game, there's usually a reason for it. And this time, it's related to the things I do regularly on this channel. Haha, <laughs> yep, definitely. <laughs> definitely play tall regularly. Yes. But, you know, it's just... It's Isaac. I, I'm, I, I know what to do in that game. So, we're gonna hope that I see new things. So, let's boot the game. Let's boot the game up. Uh, it should still capture and everything. Yep, yeah, okay. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty normal. This is the Isaac I remember. Nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope you made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look. It's from Bowser. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can. We gotta find the princess. And you gotta help us. If you need instructions on how to get through the hotels, check out the enclosed instruction book. Yep. That's about what I, re I remember it. That's about how I remember it. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Who's Isaac? <laughs> no, I got Mario and Luigi, man. All right, chat. So, uh, as you know, I've beaten this game. I got everything. But we got three characters here related to the Toho mod. We have Eka. She's happy. She's got rock. She's got two items. Mom's bracelet and shiny rock. We got Satori. She's got monster manual and Guppy's eye. Which... Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And apparently we got Seija. Seija, I don't, so she, her thing says weaken the strong, strengthen the weak, and she has flip. But it says D flip. I don't know if it's Lazarus's flip. So I don't really know what to expect, but uh, of these three chat, I would like to play Satori first. So I want, I'm going to play Satori first. Okay. All right, first of the Lambreth. So what's going on here? Control. Control what? Wave. Wave what? Item. The eyeball is closed. Hmm? Why is there a bug? <laughs> Broken shovel. That's not a shovel. <laughs> That's... That's not a shovel. That's a doll just fell on my head. I thought you had a bomb to get this thing to fall on you. Why did it fall on me for no reason? Well, she can fire bullets. And okay. Okay. If I hold RT and press a button, it think it sends out a wave. Okay, I'll have to test it on an enemy. <clears throat> it doesn't affect fire. I gotta be careful. Uh, this is exactly why I have to be careful. Uh, good. Yep. I have summoned Bonky. <laughs> okay. I I I don't know what Bonky is. She she must be new, right? I mean, she's kind of like Robo Baby, but she's got two laser beams. Okay. I lost the Devil Deal because this is an XL floor. I'm not touching that. That's not a good idea to touch. I don't have any bombs. Oh wow, her laser goes through things. Daddy Long Legs. That's perfect for Satori. Cursed Pog. Okay. That's fantastic. That's a really good item. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna run into that by accident. I, I need to test this wave thing. I really do.
Okay, I have to hold on. What was that about? Hold on, let me try again. Okay. Uh, it's. I mean, it seems to, it seems to suggest that I can. No, wait, 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 no, no. I think what it is, chat, is that uh. This, this attack here inflicts charm. That's just what it is. It's not that I control the enemy, it's just that it's, she just has an ability, the ability, she like has an ability to, to use charm. And Jacob's Ladder, okay. <laughs> okay. I think I got it. And then the wave attack like sends everything away. So the monster manual is better. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Who's that? Okay, Harlequin baby. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't the old, um... Didn't the old monster manual only work for the room you used it in? And now it, uh... And it's like a new change. Well, I say new, but, like, it's kind of old at this point. Yeah, the old manual, it, used, it lasted only the room you used it in, but I'm pretty sure it had a lower charge time. And now it has a charge time of six, but the the familiars you summon stay with you for the floor, which is obviously a thousand times better. Three charge for one room, man. You believe that shit? We got piggy bank, jar of fireflies. Oh, it's like Riggles. This is Riggles item. Okay, spawns twelve friendly on on fire. On fireflies, on fireflies will explode upon contact, deal damage to the players, clears curse of darkness. Okay, that's cool. I like that Satori starts with Guffy's eye as well, because I really like that item, personally. I'm a huge fan of that item. I don't have a bomb. At least, the nice thing about early floor, uh, early floor maze is you get, oh, whoops. You get two free, uh, free treasure rooms. Unfortunately, it means that your devil chance is... It's a bit poopy butts. Alright. Because if you get hit even once... Green-Eyed Envy. Reduce all non-final boss enemies' health to 40% after new room. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's, uh, it's Parsi. That's what it is. Reduce all non-final boss enemies health to 40% after new room. After they die, spawn two copies with 20% health. Sure. <laughs> nice fucking face. That's a bad face. <laughs> okay. Guppy's eye can see, uh, it can see heart, or... It can see HP, or not HP. It can see money in fire, but it can't see money in poop. Good to know. What a horrifying face, dude. <laughs> Smile, you're on camera. Alright, who's first? Little Horn? Motherfucker's half dead. He's half dead, but you know what's gonna happen when I leave this room? Now there's two of them. Divorce papers. Oh, a bone heart and tears right up. And a trinket. Sure. Okay, alright. So I got a couple items. Uh, I don't know why this is a Horde-Eye doll, but I assume that the other piece of it is a Shanghai doll. But I don't really understand why that's there. Also, chat, why did that fall in the first place? I thought the requirement for the shovel, the, the sho broken shovel, is you have to beat the boss in under a minute and then bomb the starting room, right? Why did it just fall on my head? Some mods make it free. Oh. Probably killing the red and white butterfly. I didn't even notice it was a fucking butterfly, dude. It was the- it was the dechromatic lotus butterfly. It all makes sense now. Hey chat, quick question. What does dechromatic mean? Oh, this is awkward. Yeah. 
Oh, doing that makes me drop my trinket. It's <laughs> annoying. It means two colored. Oh, really? Simple enough. Um, health up and sponsor trinket. Okay, <laughs> sure. All right, chat. Uh, I think for the in the interest of you know having more items, uh, what what do we want to do this run anyway? What do we want to do? Just simple chest run. That seems. Seems that seems fine. I don't know. That says there's a there's like a secret ending for this mod. I don't know how to get it though. I, I don't really know how to get it. But like a chest run seems you know safe and standard, and it lets us see more items. But I I, I like taking the alt path because there's more potential for stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what this adds. I don't have much. I don't have much information on this mod. Oh, okay. I gotta stop trying to play on my recording because the glare on my screen is making it impossible to see. But I can't see chat if I don't play on the recording. So I have reached a predicament. Bonky's gone. Goodbye, Bonky. No, the, so according to the page, according to the page, there's three characters, there's like three bosses, and. And there's like a secret ending or something like that. You'd have to look at the page. Pop. There was no info on how to get that. But if anyone knows, then feel free to let me know. But obviously, I'm not going to do it this run. Right now, I'm just kind of playing to see what's going on in the mod, I guess. We got Pencil. I'm taking the pencil. Now, that other item could have been amazing. It could have been anything. Could have even been a brick. But, pencil with this rate of fire I got going on, mm, that's some silly business. And you know, you want to get far. You want to get to the end of the, of the thing, right? At least, I think we do, right? Chat has my best interests in mind, surely. Oh, so Greed Eye and Envy affects everything in the game, huh? <laughs> Anytime I kill anything, it creates a double. I see, I see. Fruity Plum, who's the mole on the ground? Yo, are those Aka rocks? Chat, if I blow these up, if I blow these up, you think they'll give me, you think this is like a tinted rock? I'm gonna try, but before I, before I can do that, let's do this. Oh, the mole breaks. Where'd he go? Brother. Adoption papers, shop sell familiars for 10 coins. Yo, this mole is kind of, kind of radical. I kind of regret turning into a ghost right now. <laughs> but it's fine. See, there's the mirror world. Let's just go solve the mirror world real quick. Take the bomb for the solely. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's Misaguchi. The curse god. I don't remember his name. <laughs> it's Suiko's uh, curse buddy. That's what it was. I'm gonna take this, but... Okay, it's fine. Ooh. I didn't need to do that. I could've just had the mole do it. It's not a mole, it's a snake, it's a curse god. Oh, Mimaguchi! Okay. Mima be Gooch. You know, chat, sometimes I, I think about her name. Like, Mi uh, Mia Gucci's name. And I just think to myself, why do both of her names start with, like, me? 
That, you know, that's... That has to be intentional, right? <laughs> Surely. It's me... Yaguchi. Both of her names start with it. Oh, they're gonna be stuff in the buckets. What do we get? Uh, another ghost baby. Okay. Don't touch the spiky rocks. All right. Starts with Mia. No, it's the the first syllable is me. It's the first syllable is me. Me. It's all about me. All right, I have a lot of money now. All right. Who's ready to throw it all away at the boss? Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Here I go. Here comes the boss. He's gonna come back. Oh, I don't think this boss was ever meant to do this. Okay, it's fine. That wasn't actually that bad at all. Pentagram? Chat, my, uh, my face has returned to normal. I stuck a pencil in my eye, and my, I, I have now returned to normal. Where's my big old pearly whites? There they are. Yeah, there they are. Looking kind of fresh. Take another solely, please. But now I need a bomb. Actually, if I run the mole into the wall... If I run the mole into the wall... Motherfucker just found a crawl space! Yo! It's Luna! Oh shit, forgot. Lunar Fairy. Familiar dormants every floor. Awake after enter in secrets. And spawns two bombs, shoots three homing tears. The player has all three, Sunny, Luna, and Star. They wake together and damage becomes times three. I'm Lunar. Okay, so I have to find a secret room and she activates. All right, what do we got? Tarot cloth is cool. He's not selling a bomb. Okay, well. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Man, I love when the mods give you some real, uh... They give you some real, like, helpful stuff. I don't- unfortunately, I don't have the bombs to, like, pick away for a secret room right now, though. Gotta collect them all. Three keys. Come on, hit it. Come on, hit it. Hit it, please hit it. There's three keys in that bag. Hit it. <laughs> Come on, man. He won't hit it. I can't, I need the bomb. Okay. Uh, do I do it? Hit it. Bro, hit it! <laughs> I can't get it. I just can't get him to hit it. Wait, hold on. What if I do some crazy... It'll work. It'll work, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work, it'll work. Come on, hit it! Come on, 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 hit it! Hit it! He got it! He got it! He got it! Worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. I promise you it was worth it. 
Maggie's faith in her new Flora grants eternal heart now. No, I, I only took soul heart damage. I can get soul hearts back later. Really, what I need is a bomb. That doesn't work. Uh. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Alright, now the fun part. Hit the door. 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 No. We can't do it. I don't have any bombs. Crud. I'm gonna enter the devil room just so I can see if there's anything new in there. Um, no. No, I only entered it because I want to see for new items. Is there a bomb in the shop? There was not. There, I, uh, I have Guppy's eye so I could see in the bag and there's a troll bomb in there so I cannot use it. That is a shame. That's alright. The mantle will work to fly over there in iframe. Uh, I don't believe you can go over spiked rocks when you're the lost. Which, because I remember them being extremely obnoxious for Tainted Lost. For that <laughs> specific reason. If he touched them by accident, it was just like, well... That's, a, that's some nice, that's some dick. Okay, I have now learned that Green-Eyed Envy is dangerous. And maybe I shouldn't touch it ever again. But come on. The opportunity was there. And I had to take it, because I had to know. And now I know. Now I know. Blasting cap. Never is a chance for exploding bombs to drop a pick bomb pickup. Well, that would be cool if I, you know, had a bomb. I'm trying to get a heart drop. So I can do the curse room. Actually, I think I got a heart drop right there. Is it a full heart? It is. Yeah, okay, I'll do the curse room then. Yeah, it kills bosses hard. I Yeah, it does. But it makes common enemies very annoying if I don't have a way to clear them fast. Oh, that's cool. Yep, let me just... Let me just open that. That's fine, I'm in no rush. Wee -wee -wee -wee. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. That, that actually wasn't that bad. He didn't really... He didn't do the thing. He didn't do the thing. Because he was already a multiplying enemy. I guess, I guess he, uh, maybe he did and I didn't notice it. Oh, this is, this is a bad room for this. This is a bad room. I cannot reach anything, but Jacob's Ladder can. All right, never mind. That room was actually very easy. I got some good ass items. Like, Daddy Long Legs? That's Big Yam right there. Boss Yam. There's a bomb. Now let's see. Has my has my ability to play Isaac deteriorated? Or is there a secret room to my left? Okay, there can't be. Okay, so you have to be, pay attention to these kinds of things. Secret rooms only work certain ways. I only have so many bombs to check them. Damn it. I hate when they're connected to big rooms, though, because they find they're hard as fuck to find. Oh, this is just, okay, a big room. Uh, a card, a card, and two cents and a heart. Alright. Good. Oh, I don't have, uh, I don't have Misaguchi anymore. Damn it. Forgot I summoned him. I hate this thing. Flooded Caves is one of my least favorite areas. I think it's just obnoxious more than anything else. <laughs> okay. So Tori gonna get that big eye. Look at that pog. That absolutely pained pog. Eyeball girl. She got that big eyeball. This item is goofy. 
Because look at the damage. Look at the damage. A wooden chest. Three cards. We got justice. Okay. The sun and higher. Wow. Good cards. Okay. Map reveal if I need it. And a full heal. Oh, 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 oh. In a shop. Yo, he's got a dime in him. Yeah, yeah. Money, baby. Oh. A lucky penny as well. I don't know what I got. Oh, big chub. Okay. I want to activate Luna, but I don't know where his secret is, and I just don't have any bombs to play with. In fact, why did I do that? I need a fucking... I need a bomb to get to the... back to the mines. Ah, oh, it's just Mega Fatty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, matchbook. Perfect timing. Hmm. Okay. Back to the mines. The children yearn for the mines! Okay. Ash pit. Okay. I think I take back what I said. This is the worst area in the game. Uh, you know what? Maybe I just pop the map card. Now I can go activate Luna. Okay. I find that, like, I always carry a sun card around and then I never actually need it. Hmm. I can't see. I see a blank card though. Look, Luna has activated. <laughs> but, wow, okay, I used the sun card to find the blank card. Now the blank card is busted if you get the right card with it. But I kind of like the monster manual because it lets me see new, uh, new items. Oh, and I got a bomb. Oh, right, I, I, I forgot. When, whenever you go in a secret room, Luna gives you three bombs as well. So she pays your bombs back. What are you? Turns all pickup chests and non-boss items into hearts. Not blank card worthy, unfortunately. Oh! Hmm. No, no way around it. Okay. Now chat, they warn you in ba Isaac 101 is to never take pills when you can't identify them. Unfortunately, I'm not very smart, so I use them whenever, and now I have swallowed cancer. So, uh... Wow. Spawns a random trinket, hold, uh, doubles trinket effects, plus one luck. Jesus, that's pretty good when you think about, um... I just swallowed gulp. I want the key. Hmm. Um, do I want that? Literally doubling the rate of fire. I mean, I guess I have, I have polymorph. Hmm. No, I'm keeping the monster manual. I didn't want blank card. There's some options there. That's one thing about this game that kind of blows is they make a bunch of active items, but you never really want to use them. You always have one that you stick with for like the whole game. That's why one of my favorite trinkets in the game is no. Because it literally just stops active items from spawning in the pool. Like as long as you're holding it, you won't get item you won't get active items on item pedestals, which is just fucking phenomenal. When you're try Like I hate when I'm trying to play a run and all I can find are active items. 
Watch this. Wow. I see it, Chad. Do you see it? I see it. I see two of them, even. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. I see two of them. Wicked crown. It's wicked! Alright. Nothing there. Need another bomb. <laughs> you know... I think my favorite part about that emote is that uh, Suwako has just got those future treasure rooms have a 15% chance for the eyes of choosing two items. That's better. Bonky's back. I like that emote because bon uh, Suwako's hands are like tiny. Like look at the emote. She's got itty bitty hands. <laughs> the gamer hands. Also it's just fun to say wicked. Nancy bombs. Uh, chat, I, you know, the other item is tempting, but I kind of want some bombs here. Kind of want some bombs. Alright. So now I'm going to blow up that other rock. So the Aka rocks have trinkets in them, which is really cool. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not cool at all. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, I got Tinty. That's fine. A little extra work, but... Here we go. Yep. Just, uh, just like I remember it. Super Mario. So you can tell, chat, this is how long ago I played this game on stream <laughs> when this was the hot new meme in town. Nah, M, I know what M does, but I want to keep the monster manual because I want to roll, I want to roll mod familiars like that, not necessarily mod active items. Because I'll be able to, uh, I'll, when I play other characters, I won't have the monster manual, so I might as well keep it for Satori. And honestly, my, uh, randomization in this game was fun. Ow. It was fun until I had to play Tainted Eden. Then I no longer had fun with randomization. Randomization became unbelievably fucking obnoxious. I just never wanted to be a part of it again. That character's a good example of too much of a, of a good thing. You took, he took, like... Edmund cranked the knob up to 11, and the result was uh, a very miserable experience. Alright, I got hit. It's just because I'm a little crusty, a little rusty. Trusty, rusty. But I remember how to do this thing. Its hitbox is actually pretty small. It never walks into you. And once it locks in its position, it rams. I fucked up. <laughs> I waited too long. I waited too long. Again! Okay. That was... That was too difficult for me. Alright, you need to move. Don't touch the spikes. Alright, we're good. <laughs> That's classic. I never liked Tainted Cane. To be honest, I I don't I don't think Tainted Cane is like I never actually played him post uh post change. But I, I thought his gimmick was really boring. Because all you had to do... All you had to do was get a couple uh, couple items and you could just like make a game-breaking re like recipe. Like Rock Bottom, Red Stew, Monstro's Lung, and Soy Milk. 
pyro flume. That's a bird. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. Hello, bird. Ow. Goodbye, bird. Hello, bird. Alright, can you pick a different attack besides ram into me? Bro, you are... Are you dead yet? Jesus. Consolation prize. Cool. Give me a bomb. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, chat. What do you think? Mausoleum? Or just back to our regularly scheduled program? Either way, I'm going to the heart. But like, you know, do you want to see Mausoleum? Or do you want to see... You want to see, uh... Because I have to use my soul hearts for... I might, I might die. I might die. You know what? Watch this. We're going to go Mausoleum. I've decided. I have decided. You're no longer going to say. But I'm going to go back to the curse room real quick. And I'm going to walk into it. And I'm going to be disappointed. As per usual for curse rooms. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's honestly fine. Alright, now my bone heart is there, and I will get my heart pick up in the boss room, and bada bing. Bada- oh, wait, hold on. Chat, I just realized something. Something very important. Hmm. Hold on. You reach the area after the heart? Which area are you referring to? What area are you referring to? There's a few areas that come after the heart. Soap! I'm clean! Oh, Jesus Christ! What did you even crash into? Huh? Oh, singe, dude. Singe. Please get away from me. Well, that was worth it. Now, that's just great, Ed. That's just great. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, the Sheol? Oh, yeah, no. You just, you beat the heart a certain number. When you beat, you have to beat the heart with multiple characters and it unlocks the photo. Er, no, sorry. When you beat the heart a certain number of times, you're, you you guarantee you can go to the next area. Then when you beat that with a certain number of characters, it, it unlocks the next area. But if you, it, there's, by cheer, bleh. By pure chance, if uh, you beat the heart, there's a chance that a way up or down just opens for you and you can go do that area early. Um, hold on, there's something I wanted to do before I go down there. Bro, I fucking hate the mines bosses. They all suck. Every single one of them sucks. Give me a soul heart. Give me a soul heart. Ah, that's a soul heart! <laughs> okay. The fool drops all of Isaac's hearts, but one of but one and all of his pickups on the floor. Coins and bombs drop. Quarter and boom if possible. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> good. So, I think the main purpose of that is that you, you're supposed to, like, drop your quarter in the secret room and then re-roll it or something like that. Um, okay, chat. 15% planetarian chance, 100%. I'm gonna- Okay, I know what I was saying earlier, but I'm gonna take this because I wanna see a planetarium. 
And I want to see if there's anything new in there. So I'm going to take this. So if I skip the next treasure room... There's, it's like a guarantee. I didn't know it guaranteed a planetarium if you skip the treasure room. I know the rate goes up, but I don't have the mod install that shows me that. Yeah, planetariums are cool, but I don't. I honestly don't think the items are worth the uh, the skipping unless you're doing a beast run, in which case you can skip the most things because you're going back up anyway. Twenty percent per skipped item room, something like that. Yeah, but the thing is. Sometimes you roll you roll a layout that a planetarium can't spawn even when you're guaranteed odds. Oh please! Curse of Darkness is really bad with a glare on your screen because you actually can't see shit. Can't see that. Oh, I wish I had Jar of Fireflies, dude. Uh. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. The Emperor. A little poggy. Maybe a little bit. You know what? Watch this. Watch this god, god play. Okay, here we go. There's a planetarium. Okay. Give me my soul heart. Give me my soul hearts. Give me my planetarium. Uranus. Hmm. I love the planetarium uh, theme. Like the original one. Hmm. Yeah, half. Uh, some of the items in here are not good, but some of them are really good. Isaac shoots ice tears. Ice tears are really, really good. So, this is one of the ones that I think is very good. But chat, the, um, the what do you call it? The, the preview for the mod shows Doremi in this room. So I don't know if she's just like a, she's like replaces a beggar or something. Like the astral beggar. But I, I've seen her in here. I saw her, I've seen her in the screenshot. I love that planetarium music a lot. Alright, awaken my Luna. Yeah. Out bounds. All right. What's the plan right now? Okay. Uh, if you're doing the challenges, Christian, I recommend you try to do the ones that give you really good unlocks first, because some of the challenges are fucking miserable and they don't even give you something good. But some of them give you incredibly like vital items for any run that you definitely want. I can't remember what it was. I think it was... I can't remember what challenge it was. One of them gives you the Chaos card. You want that one. Oh, no, yeah. You, you'll have to do all of them. But I'm just saying that the things you unlock in the challenge runs can apply... Can show up in other challenge runs. Which is very good because, you know, the Chaos card... Which literally instant kills almost like everything in the game. Save like two bosses that never show up in challenge mode. It's pretty good to have. X-ray vision? Yes, please. Nerd glasses. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, but did you see that finesse? <laughs> What's that? Escape. Hold on. Another gulp pill. I'm taking that. Gulp. What is this? Uh, speed up after damage or broke holy mantle gain speed up in the current room and op which opens all doors which are not locked I don't know what this item is, but it looks funny. So I'm taking it Shameful but useful store coupon don't need that Clearing rooms no longer charges, but it's without it, it charges it's enemy based Okay, all right Escape the Wii out The moko leave Hmm Listen, man. You know, you, you you say that, but you know what the you know what you get for beating the this the ultra hard challenge. <laughs> you get, Maggie starts with a pill. That's it. 
That's literally it. Maggie gets to start with a pill if you beat the ultra hard challenge. That challenge is absolute garbage. I sat there and reset it for hours until I got gnawed leaf in an early room. Unfortunately, the only method of damage I had... <laughs> the only method of damage I had... Was, uh, Sissy Long Legs when I got the Satan. Soul of Aka. Spawn three friendly blood bonnies. Transform all hearts into the room into friendly bonnies. Bone Wish. Okay. Let me just take this down here and use it in there. Okay. For the secret boss, you do the beast run on the last floor of the Ascend. There'll be an item in the treasure room. Okay. Then in that case, we'll do a beast run after this. There's the secret room. Uh, blood bony. Okay. Mom's what tries to stomp Isaac for one minute. Why is this a card? <laughs> what? Why is this a card? I'm getting rid of this, dude. Fuck this card. That's your reward for beating Greedier with uh, Tainted Lilith. But streamer, if you get Gnawed Leaf and become invulnerable, she does the work for you for one solid minute. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's good idea. Very true. Very true indeed. Oh, a Tinty and a... Ooh. Tinty and a Gold Rock. A Chisel. Oh, Cakey's Tools. Carving Tools. Spawns Haniwa Soldiers when destroying rocks. Uh, different rocks will spawn different Haniwa. Haniwa Army. Confessional. Okay. Come here. Alright, let's blow up some rocks. Yo, my guys! Look at these guys! Oh, they bounce! <laughs> they bounce! What the hell is this? Summoner in the Immortal. Is he new? Bro, what just happened? <laughs> what just what just happened? Is that a mob boss or is that like a new boss that got added to the game or something? He freaked. He freaked, dude. Couldn't handle me. Purgatory. Cool. Gold bomb's a pretty useless effect from Nancy bombs. That was a fucking cross bomb. God damn it. I <laughs> had so annoying. I couldn't see it. I put it behind the angel statue. Okay. One more mausoleum. And please no more Curse of Darkness. Envy takes 40% of their max HP. That's pretty significant. A chunk. And it's Curse of Darkness again. I can't see, dude. I literally cannot see the fucking... I can't, I can't play the game. I can't play the game. Up the gamma. <laughs> how do I? How do? How do I make game bright? Chat, how how game bright? <laughs> I can't see. This is so hard to see in. The emperor. My emperor, I failed you. Chat, Curse of Darkness is annoying. And I know that's the whole point of curses, but this curse is annoying because it's I just I I can't see not because the game is too dark, but because the overall vision of my monitor with the glare is not like feasible to see anything. It's really not good. Motherfucker just exploded. All right, Luna has been activated. Get him. Get him too. Yo, Satori is rich. 
Spiders. Sp is there something in front of me, chat? I can't see. Oh, there's a hole in front of me. Oh, good items. Okay. I'm not- I'm not doing a bit. This isn't a bit. This is not a bit. Okay. Alright. I'm not coming back this way anyway. Get him. Get him, squad. Yo, these bonies are like immortal, dude. Straight up. And the crystal ball is insane. Ash of Phoenix. Player transform into Ash and release fire waves upon death. If Ash Pile doesn't take any damage in two seconds, revive player and release fire waves. Self damaging will not trigger this effect. That sounds funny. Nirvana. Alright, so I guess if I get hit. So if I get hit, I turn into Ash. And then if I, uh. If I don't get hit for two seconds, I come back and I am God. Come on, you know. But you can't activate its effects with self harm damage. Okay. How about this look in orange mode? Orange mode actually isn't on right now because my eyes are good right now. I didn't open my uh, software. I had a pretty good day at work. Whoa. You know, I had a, had a good day. Nice, solid, easy day. Scroll me. Uh, I'll probably pop Premier up uh, tonight, but I'll be going like full orange mode again. Just, you know, just in case. Just in case. But my eyes don't hurt today, so that's good. I did order a pair of uh, glasses though. They're not too expensive. Some of the ones I was looking for, like looking at, they were like a hundred bucks. That's just that's just too much to drop on that. So I got one that's like thirty bucks. So hopefully they're decent. They'll be in uh I think on Sunday ish. My ghost dude just got pulped. The Hermit? Save a key. Ying Yang Orb. Throw a bouncing Ying Yang Orb. It deals 20 collision damage. Tengu Cell Phone. Shopping online. There are only three goods at a time and it is different between rooms. The goods are determined according to the current room type and purchase goods will be delivered to the next floor. Team said we'll give these discounted goods. Okay. Get this orb. Bonk. 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 <laughs> Damn! That shit never ending! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go call Hat in the secret room. See what she's got. Hmm. Let me call Hat. Her prices might be insane. Who knows? We'll see. Okay. Ayazun.com um, how do I purchase? How, how do I... Cha, how purchase? <laughs> how do I... How do I purchase? Oh, I figured it out. Uh, Vanishing Twin? Okay, so, chat. Vanishing Twin makes it so the boss multiplies, and it gives you another reward. But the thing is, there's not really any more bosses left, so this doesn't do anything for me. As funny as it would be, it's not worth it. So let's get the card. What button does it? Thanks for your purchase. Your goods are on the way. Okay, so it'll deliver it next floor. Uh, I assume you can only make one purchase per floor. Or like, like if you if I do another one, it's like overwritten. Or can I actually make like another purchase? Let me see. I'm gonna charge the phone and try another purchase and see what happens. Woo. Woo. Get the hell out of the way, dude. Okay. Hold on, there'll be a secret room right here. What? Chad, I have the x-ray specs. Where's the super secret room? Did I did I not see it? Hmm?
What the heck is the super secret? Maybe it was attached to the big room. Let me just grab that real quick. I didn't hear anything open, is the thing. And I can't see. Oh, there it is. Um, I'll buy a boner. Okay, so now we're gonna see Chad. We're gonna see how this works. But I'm gonna get the crystal ball back. Oh, actually. <laughs> God. Dude, you can't, you can't put that right there in my face. That's so tempting. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it, but I'm gonna open this first. Eye of Chimera. Reroll all pedestal items in the room upon use. Has curse of blind while holding. You can see unknown items, qualities, charges, and tags. Explore your unknown destiny. I don't want that. I want to get rid of it. I'm gonna buy chaos. So everything... So, okay, so it... Hmm. Unknown item. Can be found by tainted lost. Won't appear in challenge. Can tripped. Weird. So, rerolls all items in the room upon use. I, I imagine that could be kind of cool. But yeah. Oh, it's stuck in the room. Modeling clay. Troll bombs. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I could... I could just re-roll everything with the eyeball right now. You're right, I could. Right now. Give me this. Quackama! Librarian buddy! Dad shares can absolutely earn. I can't see what these do. Puking buddy. Gulp. Wait, why do I have a sword in my hand? Oh. Uh, where'd my pill go? Let me swallow it. Huh? Shit, Chad, I have the eyeball stuck with me now. <laughs> I, the eyeball stuck with me. Shit. I can't read the item descriptions when I can't see them. That's a problem. Crow's heart's there. It's kind of dank, actually. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, why did money just come out of me? Okay, so here's what here's what Crow Heart does. Crow Heart makes it so you lose red hearts first over soul hearts. Which, that sounds bad, but you gotta think about it like this, chat. You can now enter curse rooms with hearts that can be replenished. And you can make sacrifices without going through your temp health. It's very good. The only trade-off is if you're gonna explore a floor, you may gotta make sure to drop it first. So you don't lose your devil deal or your angel deal. I cannot see anything! No more. No more, no more, no more, no more. Chat. Which one's the Polaroid? <laughs> 
Which one's the Polaroid? Is it the left? Or the right? It's the left one? Are you sure? You press tab, I'll show you the la description of the last item you got. Let me grab this first. Tab do nothing. Shit. Alright. Put me down, champ. Curse of the Lost. Hey, my order arrived. Cherry and a boner. Turns Isaac into an invincible immortal statue. I need to get rid of this thing. Hold on. I have debug enabled. I sure do. Uh, give item crystal wall. Thank you. Okay. Now it's gone. There you go. I fixed it. Yes, good. Now chat, I know what you're thinking. Cheater, cheater, cheater. And you know what? Sure, whatever you say. But I can't read the item descriptions when I cannot see them with that item. So I am not going to have that on. So please accept my apology and that my apology is not an apology. I want to be, I don't know what, I didn't get to read the Quackama familiar and I didn't get to read what Dad Shares does. I don't know what they do. But look at the little quack! Look at her! She's great! But I can't look at the item description for her because I don't know how to pull up the menu for that. Where the fuck am I? Bro, where am I? I should have played this later in the day. I now... Kids drawing. Counts as one uh, towards Guppy item. Towards transformation when held. Okay. Hold on, chat. Am I in heart too? I am. That was my last shot at an angel room, naturally. So now I can get the crow's heart without voiding the chance. Okay, whenever I get hit... Whenever I get hit, I lose money. And I don't know why I lose money. I'm pretty sure it's related to that thing I have. It is 100% related to that thing I have. It takes $5 away from me every time I get hit, and I don't know why. Cause I didn't get to read what the fuck the item does. Oh, messy. Oh, messy. Oh, messy. Hey chat, remember that gimmick that Satori has? Yeah, I have no fucking time to use it at all. <laughs> There's no time to use it at all. There's too much shit on the screen at any given moment. And you know, I thought, uh, I thought... I thought that using the crystal ball was supposed to... I thought it was supposed to clear curses. You know? Oh. Dead? No, yes, no, yes. I have to find the secret room to get my, uh... My crow's heart back. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, let's not go back in that room. Okay. Mono would debug you read its effect. I could, but it might pull up a bunch of other things. So. That's fine. I'm sure I'll see it again. They're probably not that rare. And you know, if I get death certificate, then... Oh baby, we're playing the game right then and there. 
Where was the where was the boss? Chat. I uh don't remember which way the boss was. I have found the boss. Okay. Never realize how badly Curse of the Lost affects you until that happens, you know? I love the cathedral's music. I love the cathedral's music both in the this one and uh, Anti-Birth. Like, this is called Him. And the one in Anti-Birth is The Thief. That one is so fucking good. Good God. But Him is, him is incredible. What's the name of the dad's item? Um, I actually don't remember. Like, I I grabbed it so quickly, and then I realized that when I grabbed Quackama, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. So I don't even remember the name of it. His dad shares? Okay. And the other one was Quackama, baby, so. She fires a big shot, it seems. Pop, pop, pop. She speed. The devil. Squeezy. Paralysis. No problem, brah. All oh, right, the secret room. I see it. I gotta go awaken Luna. It's in the vase. Okay. This run's looking completo. So chat, who do we try next? Probably Aka. I feel like Sage is probably like a huge gimmick of some kind. So I'll go Aka. She'll probably have a gimmick too, but she'll probably be pretty like straightforward. At least compared to uh at least compared to Sage. Yeah, give me that. The only thing that really blows about Isaac is when you find a track you really like and it constantly resets. It constantly resets because you go in secret rooms and stuff like that. I hate that. Very asinine thing to complain about, I know, but <laughs> it's true. I hate when the music gets interrupted on the areas that I like the music in. Need that. Bad pill? Bad pill. Hmm. Hold on, chat. If there's a sacrifice room in here, which there can be, it's it's kind of rare, but there can be sac rooms this far into the game. <clears throat> if there is. The devil. Activates the Bible. Grants flight. Okay, yeah, it's literally just the Bible as a card. But I don't need that. There could be a sac room. It's not a sac room. Well, it's fine. You know, it's neat. When they freeze, they don't uh, split into two. They don't split the two when they freeze, so the penalty that comes from green, green eye jealousy is actually not really coming up every now and again. Cool synergy. Cool synergy. Okay. All right, here we go. It's me. Don't worry, it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. So what if I'm a little crusty and I can't do phase one Isaac? It doesn't matter, because phase three is the easy one. Somewhere along the way, my damage stopped going up. I don't know when it happened, but it definitely happened. 
I grabbed the big eyeball and the game was like, all right, that's all you get. And now to be fair, the big eyeball is pretty good. I just wanted the coin, dude. All right. Is that a Ruma? Hunger. Apply the hunger system. Player loses hunger while moving, gets healed if hunger is larger than 9, gaining stats up if hunger is larger than 8, stats down and swallows trinkets if hunger is less than 3, takes damage if hunger is empty, monsters drop food pickups. Little miney craft. Desire drives you. <laughs> Yo. We gotta eat. What's my what's my food number at? Alright. Luna's up and ready to fight. Uh, it's just fine in the end. Whoa. Cheese. Why cheese? Oh, it's food. <laughs> Stop, watch. <laughs> yeah. That's some good cheese. Oh, come on, man. What was that? Whoa, Jesus Christ. Ow. Now you get them, you get them big heels. Get them big heels. Yeah, game lag. I can't die. I have infinite red heart recovery. It's over. There's no way Satori loses here. I would have to be a legendary type of bad to lose here right now. However, if I go to the void, that's a different story. Because the void just makes you lose because, you know. You know, surprised no one ever made a mod for that one. Maybe there is a mod. Like, just... Just a mod that makes Delirium a better boss. Surely someone has made that mod, right? <laughs> or, just, or just make him not show up. Give me a different boss altogether. A bucket of lard. No, I need some new stuff. Everything is slowed down because I grabbed the stopwatch. It's alright. It's alright. Even if they hit me, I'm always fed. Hmm. Okay. Dad shares. Lose five coins when hit, get one coin every clear room. Oh. Well, that's a dangerous item to take if you suck at the video game, huh? Ah, oh, shit. No problem for one such as I. Why- wait, what the hell? Chat, why are there planets floating around me? What, what caused this? What? <laughs> Why am I being orbited by these? Where'd they go? Oh, you know what it was? It was modeling clay. It was modeling clay. That guy did it. Ow. Yo, that honey was still hanging in there. Yeah, that's helpful. Uh, you know what? Why not? Hmm. 
Chariot? Nah. Spider Man. Goodbye, Bloat. Hello, Bloat 2. Goodbye, Bloat 2. This is it, Luigi. Job's done. All right, pretty good. So Satori is, you know, she's she has default stuff, so nothing nothing huge there. She was fun. I could not use her gimmick at all because I could not find a time where I really wanted to try to use it. So that's more on me than anything. So let's try Aka next. Aka has got Mom's bracelet and a shiny rock. Okay, and we're gonna do the beast route. We got, oh yeah, the mom's bracelet. Oh, I see. Chat, she can pick up rocks, and then shiny rock increases the chance of finding like crawl spaces and stuff. So we're going digging. Hello, little butterfly. She kind of slow. Oh, she chucks rocks. Oh shit. She throws bricks. They're very weak. Oh, I can stack them! Oh shit! We're stone stacking! Give me that. Get bricked, idiot! Ah! I hate these big rooms and the first floors! No! Come on! Alright. Oh! Yeah, that explanation makes absolutely zero sense. Ah! Hold on, I'm taking these rocks. This is my rock. Give me it. Damn! I did a lot. Oh shit! Toss a rock. Toss a rock. Toss a rock. Wait, if there's a if there's um if there's a crawl space under a rock, I'm pretty sure it flashes. Let me see. Crawl space rocks and tinted rocks blink every 10 seconds. Wow. Why does it have to be every 10 seconds, dude? Like on the dot or when I pick it up? Chat, tell me if you see something. Tell me if you see a blinking rock. So let me miss it. You have my permission to say streamer go back. And if you're wrong, then accept the consequences. That's all. Bomb. She gets a rock bomb. Take that, hi -ya. I'll take that. Throwing rocks is a lot of damage. Oh, oh, oh. Give me these. Rocky jelly. Jelly. <laughs> it's a SpongeBob jellyfish. Jellyfish familiar that stacks and throws rocks. Hold the shoot button to stack around 2.73 stones per second. Release the button to throw them, dealing 3.5 damage and can destroy obstacles. Jelly the rock! That's Jelly the rock! He be stacking! Jellyfish Jamboree. 
I don't know why that broke. Range up? Okay. No. I'm too focused on building my rocks. This Larry looks angry. Give me that. Here, eat shit. Meat. Aka got angry. You know, it's funny, like, Aka's not a character I think of when I'm, you know, when you're trying to make like a, like a, a Toho related thing. But at the same time, Aka's kind of like the perfect character for this game, you know? Everything about her is perfect for this game. <laughs> Joss. Okay. Oh, okay. Rocks sometimes break uh, other rocks, so maybe I can find secret rooms like that. Yeah. I gotta test this theory. Hmm. Oh, it would, yep, it does. Rocks don't blast this guy. Can't pick him up either. I can blow him to smithereens. Get bombed, idiot. Nothing. Alright. It's the jellyfish rocks? Is it? Well, either way, I have the ability to find secret rooms without putting bombs everywhere, so... That is a win. Whoa. Move it or lose it. Prevents active items from spawning. Nah, you know what? I love that trinket, but there might be mod active items, so. Gotta get them in the pool. Gotta get them in the pool. Eh. 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 <laughs> you know, the brick is a surprisingly effective tactic. <laughs> it's so good. Drops two red hearts, butt penny. Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right. Well, that's fine. No. Oh, yeah. Bad secret room. Okay, not too bad secret room. Wait, chat. Isn't there... Golem had an item, right? Yeah. I... Golem had a brick. I remember that. He had a brick. He could just... He could... He, one of his uh, little trinket things was just a brick he could pick up and throw at things and do 15 damage. <laughs> Man, we were... We were living in a golden era there. But we just didn't... We didn't have the technology that we had now. Alright, remember chat, uh, on beast runs, on beast runs you get to go to the item rooms again, so we can do that, until we see a planetarium. Wait, chat, did I not go to the treasure room on the first floor? What? 
Huh. Where? Because I, I don't have an item. Well, that's fine. No. No, you can't. All part of the plan. Ethereum. Odds. Pick up the poop. Pause the poop. No, he's so hard to kill. I'd rather this boss than any other boss it could have been, though. So. Oh, that's... That's not good. That's not good. Pony horn. Plus one damage up each time player gets damaged. First time, spawn a circle of shockwaves. Second time, spawn three shock circles of shockwaves and explode. Third time, fill the room with shockwaves and cause a mega explosion. After the third time, we're leaving the room, reset the damage counter. Only blood. Only blood. Yeah, it's knockout in three steps. I had a feeling that's what it was. Give me your rock. Give me it. Alright. I am now the big meat in town. There was too much text there. I couldn't read it all. Perish. Perish. Easy clap. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't need to assemble the knife. I really don't. Probably shouldn't either. Because assembling the knife is, like, dangerous. Needlessly dangerous. Well, that happened. <laughs> sure. Good job, Aka. I didn't mean to come in here, but we're taking this. Those both suck. Wait, don't break the mirror. Hmm. Okay. It's fine, there will be a planetary in this floor anyway. I didn't need to skip another item room. No copium, no copium, no copium. Besides, we got, you know, we get, we get the blood flowing. Couple rocks never hurt anyone. A brick is good for the soul, don't you know? No, but I, did I, seriously, did I, did I miss the first floor's item room? And I'm just forgetting about it? Because I genuinely do not remember going in it, and I don't have an item to speak of. So, I had to have missed it. I have the jellyfish, but I know that came from an Aka rock. got, son. You know what? Give me your soul. Thank you for your soul. Check the VOD. Oh yeah, you can do that. You guys have powers. I did. I did what? What did I do? What? <laughs> your message is too vague. What did you do? Streamer, what did you do? The ability to look back Clear the way champ I got a key to get These super secrets Nine times out of ten they fucking blow There's like one good super secret room layout Where's my crawl space? Where's my tinty? Hmm. Min Min. Min Min! I hate arms! This 
escape. Oh, it's a boss item, huh? Well, I know what that does. Now, chat. I know what you're thinking, and the answer is... I'm doing it. Do I really risk everything this run is for one possible other item? And the answer is, yes, I am, because I could do it. You know why? Because I am simply built different. Watch. Wow. He's doing it. Somebody stop him. You don't know what you're getting into! Wouldn't it be funny if I accidentally touched the blood donation machine and exploded? Or accidentally threw a rock at the mirror and it shattered and I could no longer get out? Which means you just automatically die. That's, uh, that's what happens, by the way, if you didn't know. If you break the mirror while inside the mirror world, you just die. Hmm, three bombs. Come here, feller. Now listen here, pal. I ain't your buddy, friend. Oh, you know what, chat? That reminded me. I have a question for you, because I don't think any of you live in Canada. So, this is a question. Uh... Where you guys are from, do people say bud? A lot? I was told today that's like a Nova Scotia thing. I was like, what? So now I'm asking, is that actually like, do people say that in other places in the world? Or is this actually just like, is this actually just something that happens around here? But because I've only ever been from around here, it's, to me it's the most natural thing in the world. Catch a brick! Why are we doing this attack again? A matchbook? Aka doesn't need any more bombs, dude. She's, she's perfectly fine. Hmm. I don't know, there's like different things that people say. You know in Newfoundland they call people buys? Like when they're talking about their friends, they call them the buys. And like... To me that's like, what? But to them, that's just the most natural thing in the world. They also pluralize a lot of their words. I think that's funny. They just, they just throw, they just slap an S on so many words they say. I'm just like, okay. I think it's funny. Alright. The children yawn for the mines. Okay. This is gonna affect my way back up, which is a bit annoying. But it's fine. I'm looking for that planetarium. Don't worry, I know. Uh, I know everything. This is one of those games that I have played a lot, so I do know a pretty good amount of it. But there's also so much that sometimes I just forget shit anyway. And also because I'm just, you know, talking about random nonsense. That it's very easy to lose focus on what it is I'm supposed to be doing. So, you know. If Streamer walks into a spike rock, just let Streamer walk into a spike rock, okay? Just just let him just let him do it. Live and let live. If I if I brick myself, I brick myself. That's it. Give me this. Toss. Locust of death. No, I kinda want to keep the Another one. Justice. I kind of want to keep the shiny rock because it's supposed to help me. Hmm. 
Everyone's been bricked once in their life, you know? But you know what, chat? More recently in my everyday life, have I been referring to uh, a brain fart as being shrimp fried. So that's, uh, that's a thing that's happening in my life. <laughs> Sometimes I get- I'm influenced. Call myself shrimp fried the other day and I was like, why did I say that? <laughs> the stars. Wait, what did that say about planetarium? But there's a planetarium, it teleports there instead. Okay. Son of a bitch. Tango camera! Display a fan-shaped area when held, uh, freeze and deal one- five damage to enemies and moves projectiles in the area after use. Spawn bonus is based on the score. You get a hundred? You get a death certificate? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? I wanna go take a picture, bro. Four. What in the world? What in the world be given? Hmm. That was 11. What the? Jesus. Okay. Okay, I'm done with this camera. I'm done with this camera. This is gonna get me killed. Bro really said a hundred points for a death certificate. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's fine, man. I'll just get it. I'm built different after all. Jar of Wriggles. I'm gonna buy this. And be on my way. Yo! Yo, why are there dies? I didn't mean to throw a rock at the angel. Can I touch them? I don't know if I can touch them. Well, they seem to be invincible. I panicked. I get hit again, this whole room is going up in flames. I knew that was gonna happen. They're like Legend of Zelda fairies. Oh, they give me half a soul heart. Thanks, Dai. Oh, they give me a full soul heart. Look at that. That's my friend right there. That's my motherfucking friend. Trust her with my life. My kids. My house and my car. She could do no harm to me. Free money, dude. There's no planetarium on this floor because the stars card. Which is kind of dumb. But there's always next floor, chat. There's always next floor. I'm happy I found this jellyfish fella. Fainted Polaroid. You know, funny enough, this thing can be used. Uh, I mean, you can read it. This thing can actually be used on the beast store. And you don't have to do the mom fight. Which means, or you can do the mom fight, but you can keep the item. So I'm actually gonna take this. Shiny Rock is doing nothing. That's pretty good. So I can go in there and I can get uh, the negative or the Polaroid, whatever one I want. And then I can leave, and then I can still- I use the Beta Polaroid. It's really cool that it works on the Beast Store, because otherwise that trinket is pretty not great. There's definitely a hierarchy of trinkets. But sometimes you get one early and you're just like, whatever. 
Oh, ghost chest. Ghost chests are so lame, dude. Marissa's broom, flight. For each mushroom item player has, get plus 0.3 speed, 0.5 tears up, and 1 damage. That's insane. Daze. Meow. <laughs> she do be flying. She do be flying. Nice. Flight and mushroom bonuses. Alright, um... Here, brother. Here, brother. Guys, spit something out! You greedy bitch! Here's that range down. That's fantastic. Hey, thanks. Adrenaline. Damage up for every empty red heart container. The more empty heart containers, the bigger the bonus for each new one. Okay. Bum friend. Picks up coins and spawns random pickups in return. You know, chat, I have never once in my life gotten super bum. I can't imagine why. Why would I pick that up? This little asshole eats your money and spits out garbage. Wow! That's great! I think I'll keep him! Right, I forgot I can fly now, because I am Daze. <laughs> Why do I call her that, man? <laughs> what what happened to me? Wait, why did I just go- what happened? I'm invisible. A centipede. Bro, it's eating all the money! Uh. Stop eating the money! Fuck uh. off, Bobo, yo! And she's really hard to kill because if you knock the money out of her, she immediately goes back for it. And then heals! Ruin cape. Shot speed up drops three random ruins. I don't want to wear that fashion crime. Get that shit out of my face! Lilith, permanent familiar, yes. Twisted pair, that's great. Perthro and Yera. Ooh! Yera. Ooh! Hold on, Sumireko coming in clutch! Destruction. Spawn a meteor that explodes and cracks into fragments. Keep falls meteors at player's position in current room. That's Labletain. It's an active item, though, chat. It's an active item. Cataclysm. Give me that baby. Shovel. You suck. You know what? I could have used that and then gotten a crawl space here, maybe. You can crawl space things in this, uh, with that. Um, hold on, I'm gonna per throw this thing. Oh, Ash of Phoenix again. Player transforms to Ash and releases fire upon death. If, oh, so when you die, if you don't take two seconds, revive and release fire waves. Okay, so this is a revive, but it only works if you don't take any damage while you're in Ash Pile. Okay. I can fly now, so I don't need to... I'm gonna summon the meteor, but I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna hurt me. Chat, does it hurt me? Like, there's no universe where it doesn't hurt me, right? 
Surely it, it hurts me. <laughs> it's an explosion, so it, it probably hurts me. Get bombed, idiot. The brickening. Well, that was good. I would explain it short charge. Uh, what? Oh. Oh. Gold bombs from me? You shouldn't have. Yeah, shouldn't have. You know, the thing about this right now is my HP is actually a little, like, low. There's, like, a danger to my HP right now. I'm taking the Roid Rage. Hey. Look how quick I can chuck rocks. Alright, I'm going for it. Starter deck. Isaac can carry two cards, turns all pills into cards, spawns one card on pickup. The Empress. Okay. What a nickel? That's cool. Goodbye. I'm doing it! Whoa. Let's go visit Wario again. Somebody in this meteor is going to get me killed. I'm gonna get my knife. I don't- I don't have flight though. I have nothing. These- this, uh, this bonus room is a lot easier when you have a character who starts with flight. Because you don't have to do any of the challenge. But it's not terribly hard. It takes a bit of getting used to, to know how it works. But once you figure it out, it's not so bad. Like I said, the, the way- the way- the way the mom ghost works is pretty consistent. It's just about not stressing out. It's about it's mostly just stressful when you're playing as the lost or the uh, the keeper or something. When you're on a good run with those characters and you're going for corpse and you get here and it's just like, oh god, please don't shit the bed, please don't shit the bed, and then you shit the bed. Nerves are the ultimate deterrent of anything. Give me that key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I can't do it. Move, please. I can't I can't do this anymore. I threw it the wrong way. Lost a whole ass heart to that thing, dude. Okay. Easy. Neat little thing about that chat. If you uh if you come here without knife piece one, that area like that room and like the three yellow switches don't even spawn. So there's no knife piece two without knife piece one. However, in Anti-Birth, there was actually three knife pieces, and they were like, a puzzle you had to do. That's not worth it. It was a puzzle you had to do, but you only had to do it once. And then it stayed unlocked forever. Hmm. 
That's a big bomb. This way. Big meteor! Tactical nuke inbound! <laughs> this shit just doesn't end. It probably opens secret doors and stuff. Only the impact counts. Unlucky. Unlucky. Okay, that's everything. I only have 4 HP left. Man. Don't fuck yourself, you little weasel. Ah! Let me out of this room. Okay. Give me the clot. And I can't, I, I can't, I'm not going to the mausoleum. I'm going, I'm going down. Because we gotta do beast. We gotta do beast. Alright, we're here. Necropolis 2. Curse of darkness. Curse of darkness. I have a teleport card. So I'm gonna save it. Oi, oi, oi. In case you're wondering, the glare has not really gotten any better. And this entire area is just darkness, so... Seeing is already difficult enough in here. But it really is... You know, the problem is a bit... A little worse than it needs to be. I'm not playing your game, my guy. I'm not playing it. Wow. Alright. I keep forgetting I can fly. One hundred percent keep forgetting I can fly. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Come here, jellyfish. Mystery sack drops a random pickup every few rooms. Sure. Why shouldn't I? There's a dude up in the corner. I see him. I see him. Okay. I have a lot of raw DPS right now. And we got the stars and the sun. Okay. There is a planetarium here, chat. There's a planetarium here. Poggies. Poggies. I usually don't like Red Mom, but this is fine. Soul Heart, Soul Heart. Taking damage to have a Red Heart makes invincibility and damage up. Take damage of her. What do you think, chat? What, what do you think would be better? What do you think would be better? I currently have two Red Hearts. So do I just take the raw, the flat damage up? Or do I take the invincibility? I don't really have red hearts is the thing. But I could also, uh... I could also make my heart, red heart go down with, uh, the devil- Oh, the devil room first. Oh, it's just jello. Okay. Huh. I only have one- There's no more room for devil deals, though, so. 
Yeah, I'll just take a negative. Woo. Gonna be close. Mage suit spawns the world. <laughs> Pause all enemies after entering a room. The world will stop the time and spawn knives. Has chance to spawn the world after cleared. What? Pause all enemies after entering a room. The world will stop the time. Okay. Perfect and elegant. I can't really, I don't really understand how this works. So if I use, oh. So I have to use the world card before the room, essentially, like this. Well, that's not a good room for that. I don't have a world card anymore. Max stabber, gold bomb, cool. Hit an enemy in the back, deals dam double damage, causes bleeding, which enemies leave creep and they move. Okay. Do I? I guess I use the card in the room. Some of the item descriptor text isn't that good. <laughs> it's kind of choppy. Okay. Blank ruin. Alright. Blank ruin. I don't know what that one was. Another blank ruin. That's dangerous. I need to get out of here. Mars. Oh, dude. Mars is so bad. Okay, chat. Let me explain what Mars does. Because clearly you can see on the screen what it says. Right? It says, Double tapping a movement key makes Isaac dash. During a dash, Isaac is invincible and deals four times damage. Now, you might be thinking, That sounds great! That's very good! Yeah! It sure is. Except when you're on a controller and your slight tap and your not so slight tap equal out to double tapping and your character just goes woo straight into an enemy or a spike or something. It is way too easy to accidentally dash with this thing. So it is not good. It is simply not good in my humble opinion. And I have no way to re-roll it. Wiggle worm. Okay, so the maid suit gives you some time stop to work with at the start of the, the room, which is cool. But only if there's enemies. Bonk. See you later. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Or was that super secret? Skeleton key. Wow. Okay, hold on. Uh, I like to find the super secret just before I move on. There is another set of stuff in the the mausoleum bit I'm going to have to do. I can just do this. Okay. It's it's bittersweet chat hearing how many other people have had issues with Mars. I'm kind of glad I'm not the only one, but at the same time, it would be better if this was a personal skill issue than a more, I wouldn't call it universal, I suppose, but, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, I can't see my items if I hold the back, okay, damn, where did I start at? Here, okay, take my fate of Polaroid. All right, here we go. I spent it. How could you spend our savings? Right, right, purple fire. Purple fire is very cool. Not cool. I'm gonna blow it up. Might give me a soul heart. Alright.
Always look for secrets. Blood machine, no. Bro, I can't hit him. Because the goober's in his way. Okay, I stand by my opinion that that enemy should not be able to attack. When his entire purpose is to prevent you from doing any damage to anything until it's dead. I stand by that. Wait, I can just fly. Sometimes streamer forgets, because there's a lot of things going on at once. The Hermit. Black Candle? Wow. Wow. Take my one coin, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Locust of War. He's cool. The World. I'll take that. Crawly Space? What the hell is this? Bird bone pieces. Food, <laughs> Food items give one extra heart container. Can also be spawned by triggering wishbone. Crisp. <laughs> Ow! Alright, all good. It's a little misty, you know. Alright, let me try the world card in the next room. Guppy's corpse card. Oh, it's Guppy's now, is it? It gives you flight, plus 22 speed when, uh, when, uh, when moving at a speed faster than 0.85. Crush enemies without taking like, any contact damage. <laughs> the ring card. And it's a Guppy item, too. So if you have a high enough speed, it tur you turn into, like... I now- I now deal contact damage. Oh shit. Oh shit. That is so cool. So the world now is a map card and also an offensive card. That's a cool ass item, dude. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. I see an echo rock. We got safety cap. Members on chance for the room to clear. It'd be a pill. Chance for bonus pills. I can't spawn pills, so I think that's replaced by cards. But I'm keeping the locust of war. Mega bean. No, as you see on the beast, on the way back up with the beast chat, uh, the blind effect is removed. Something to keep in mind. You don't the blind effect for the second item in the alt path isn't there. It's very nice. Okay. Some of these, like, mod items are really good. Like, you know? They're fun. They're cool items. What, you know what I appreciate about them? Is that they're made with the player's enjoyment in mind. That's how I feel right now. Some of the shit Edmund makes... Sometimes I think he hates me. Like, like it's personal. You know? Like, he hates me personally. With some of the items he makes. But the mods are like, nah, bro, you want a good item that's also funny looking? Here you go, here's a good item. How to jump. Okay. Um, Book of Sins. Yeah. Uh, Book of Belial. Bookworm. Anarchist Cookbook. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's cooking. Jellyfish. Get me out of here. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're golden. What the hell is that? Chat. 
<laughs> what? What is that? Oh shit! What? <laughs> what? I can walk on spikes. <laughs> My tears are coming out of it. But that's the end of the floor. There's nothing left to kill with this. This, do I keep it? Wait, how do I get out of it? Chat, how do I get out of it? It fires missiles with bomb. I, okay, I have to leave it. Let me in! Yeah! <laughs> we're keeping it! Yeah! We're keeping it! Get absolutely blasted, you poor, poor fool. I can't open, I can't get that card. Gemini. I'll oh, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I bet I can't take it up with the light, can I? Shit. It's not gonna let me bring it up with the light. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Man, the time stop stops those guys from helping, like putting the shield up. No, wait, wait, it works. The mech, oh shit, no. Death. He's only got two HP left. I ran into an enemy. No, I only have one guy. I've got a crawl space. He can go in crawl spaces. What the hell is that? That's a chaos card. Bro. There's also an eyeball thing over there. How the fuck is there a chat? Does the chaos card work on the beast? Or I guess. It's not about it working on the beast right now, is it? It's about working on this bonus boss. <laughs> I wanna get, I gotta get close to it to read it. Does uh, damage up, displays all rooms at map's border, increase projectile visibility. Okay. I could have just did this. Aka's kind of jacked right now. I wouldn't mess with Aka. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I only have one more HP though. Before the mech explodes. Yeah. Stay asleep. Okay, good night. Okay, thank you. Why is... What, what is wrong with my map? Why does it look like that? I can just leave. <laughs> this thing is just, it can't be stopped. It cannot be stopped. Wait, I can see the rooms. No! No! <laughs> My fun, it's over! Look at that big lad. Holy shit, does that increase bullet visibility or what? There's nothing above the ground, so I cannot hit them. 
They look so different, I thought they were my bullets. I don't know what that was, but it was amazing. Super secret merit right there, that's what that was. A reason to look for super secrets. Get in the fucking robot. Alright. Oh, right, the wolf's eye, yeah. Displays all rooms at the map's border. Wibble wobble. Man, you know, looking at Isaac, you can, you can already tell it's kind of a fucked up game in the first place. But like, even on top of that. Even on top of that, it's like, when you get to the, like, do the B stuff here, it's like, damn. It's kind of just depressing. But I guess that's the whole point, right? Uh, I don't think I need that. I think I'm good. The intruder and rabbit trap. Oh, it's a pitfall. Plus one luck spawns traps after enters a room with enemies. Traps can instantly kill ground monsters, deal 45 damage per second to bosses. Or the intruder. Buries stuff in Isaac's head. Funny trap. Watch your step. I have planted traps. That is so cool, dude. That is so cool. It's a free map, and it's an attack. Break, damn you. Chewed pen. No. Got a little bit of a weird warble on it. Okay. Last one. <clears throat> Where are you going? Ow. Dream soul. Can only spawn in the treasure room at basement one while ascent. Remove the door of mom's room, then spawn a cushion to the dream world in Isaac's room. Okay. Wake up! Did I... Did I read that right? Where'd it go? So, I guess that's the item, right? That for the boss. Because it says it only spawns in the, uh... Only spawns in this specific instance. Do re mi Do re ma Do re mi Do re ma This is it Welcome home Merman shell Gain stats in flooded rooms. Plus two flat damage tears up after a new floor flood at 20% of the rooms. That's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, that kind of scared me a little bit. Oh, I don't want to go in the butthole. I don't want to go in the butthole. Poor Isaac, let me see what you are dreaming. 
Oh, I'm talking. Why am I talking? Welcome to the dream world. Dora me, the administrator of this world. Why am I here? You are dead! I'm here to bring you to the other world. That's not your job, Dora me. I'm dead? <laughs> I don't know why. Are these all fake? My head hurts. What happened to me? Looks like you're still in a terrible nightmare. I will cleanse your nightmare. Please survive in the following battle. Don't worry, you'll wake up safely soon, Isaac. Now let's start. Good thing bullet visibility is cranked. Maybe I should drop a meteor on myself. <clears throat> Wait, you gotta be in the center of that. A stream catcher. Wait, what? Do I get what what is what is this chat? Am I picking an item? I see brimstone and mom's knife on there. That's pretty good. Uh how does Brimmy work with my rocks? I don't know if I want to pick this. This seems like it's gonna be bad. That's not quarter, you fool. That's Greed's eye. <laughs> Why? Dad's paper is there. Mom's knife is there. Brimmy is. Th Wait, they're bosses. Oh, yeah, they're bosses. You're right, they're bosses. So, beast, mom, mother, uh. Mega Satan, Lamb, Blue Baby, Ultra Greed, and Delirium. Okay, well, let's do... Which one's the... Butterfly, Butterfly, Supplement. Ow. This is a little too bullet heli. Like, too bullet heli. <laughs> well, a timeout is better than nothing, I guess. I'm throwing rocks at her. I don't know what just happened. Creeping bullet. I just got bigger. That wasn't a good idea. Cannot see. Even with the visibility cranked up because of Wolf's Eye. Die, damn you! the hell even hit me yo this boss fight goes on way too long <laughs> what the fuck it's not ending
You know what, at this point, just survive it. Oh, I can't. I can't survive it. I can't survive it. Great. Oh, cool. It threw my card downwards, even though I pressed up when I pulled it out. Oh my meat chat, just gonna pull out what's called a pro gamer move. Ah, here we go, okay. Ah, let's see. Give item magic mushroom. Yeah, okay. Give item PJs. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm playing the game. Give item. Um. Cricket's head. Okay. Give item. What's the item that makes you really small? Wafer? Good call. Give item the wafer. What's the one that gives you makes you really small? Tiny mushrooms, good. Yeah. Pluto. Okay. Give item. PJs again. Two PJs. Alright. You ready, chat? Let's do it again. Okay. Yep, that's definitely playable. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir, that right there, there, sir, yep, that's def yep, that's a playable, playable attack pattern. Okay, well, I'm, uh, never doing this again. That's for sure. <laughs> no, thank you. One, once is enough for this boss, and even that, it's like... It's, it's too bullet heli. It doesn't work. And it's too long! Look how long it is! This is Dreamcatcher. This one is what? This one's so. This one's fine. What the fuck? This one is perfectly manageable. Why are the other ones so bad? <laughs> that one was fine. There was nothing wrong with that one at all. It it was the pattern and it worked with the within the game's engine. I'm kind of impressed. I don't want to touch delirium, dude. Doesn't matter if they're the hardest attacks; they're still stupid. That greed attack's dumb. Super expression. <laughs> Why are we down here? Oh, Jesus Christ. This is insane, dude. Alright, this one's still pretty hard, but... I don't know, I feel like the first ones I picked were just... a next level. And do we really have to do this non every time? Wait, if... 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. If I press the bomb button, that happens. What the fuck? Never mind. Never mind. We Gucci. Oh, it takes 10 bombs. Ultramarine Lunatic. Takes 10 bombs to do it. That guy's unkillable. Christ. It's finished. Your nightmare is gone. Go home, child. What should I do now? My mom, my dad. I'm just a sinner. Don't worry, Isaac. It's not your fault. You don't have sins. You're just an innocent child. Feel strange or scary? Come find me in your dreams. I'll help you as much as I can. Be a good boy, okay? Okay. Good, Isaac. Time to go. Now sleep. Sweet dreams, Isaac. Bye. <laughs> Happy end. Wow, oh, you're finally awake. Where am I? This is the Hakuday Shrine. I am Reimu, Shrine Maiden of the Shrine. Someone told me to be a last human child here. She also told me to look after him. Jeez, don't just push everything onto me. Raymu, what should I do then? You will live in Sokyo from now on. But first, you need a home. In that case, you can stay at my shrine for the time being. Okay. Come on, let's go have a look at your new home. All swell that ends swell. See you in the your dream. Whee! Poverty ending. What do you mean poverty ending? It's a better ending than Isaac dies. Yeah, may Isaac live a happy life. A happy new life. He'll grow up, yes. There you go, chat. Aka did it. She became the best, but you know. What happened to Aka? No bone nor soul. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Feed his blood. Aka, please. Satori. Drug driving and transfuse. She is sick. She needs help. And Seija. No strong nor weak. Desiphon. She is sad. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why is Satori cracked? Aka turned to a goo child, dude. She turned to a goo child! <laughs> okay. What the? No. Alright, chat. Well. Oh, there are challenges. No. Um, that's it for Isaac. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this mod and check out the other characters. Uh, I won't, you know, I won't be doing, like, a huge return to Isaac or anything like that, but I, I would like to check out all the playable characters and check out as much as the, like, extra content as I can. And, you know, once I'm done and I didn't see everything, I can just give myself a death certificate and, like, look at all the, uh, new items in there. So, you know, a couple more runs, essentially, I'll be playing over the course of the streams. Probably, you know, I can do two and two, maybe, depending on how bad the run is, I suppose. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I read I read hit tab and I hit I hit the wrong button. Whoops. Maybe maybe I look at some maybe I look at the challenges. I don't know. I'm not gonna open the game again to see them, but No, the mod's pretty cool. Uh, I like the items. There's like the Sakuya item, for example. It's super in character, and it's actually just like a very good item. Uh the jellyfish was funny. <laughs> like, 
ever, there's there's basically an item slash trinket for every character in the game, but how on the nose it is is like you know it varies. So like the green eyed envy, which is just envy with green eyes, it's like okay, like that's that's cool, but it, it has the duplica uh, duplication effect, and it's you know it's Parsi's item, and it works kind of like Parsi does. It's really cool like that. There's a lot of attention to detail in there for sure, and I want to see more of a. Uh, I want to see more. I want to see more of the character stuff in there. So yeah, more of this later in the, just over the course of whatever, and we'll check out more of it.